Hey guys, this is Katie with the channel Weather Spazify. Welcome if you're new and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Um, right now I am out at a park on a dock and it is beautiful. It's around like 4.30 p.m. Um, on the full moon and Taurus day. I believe it's the 24th of October. And today I wanted to um, go ahead and share um, some more crystals that I have and try to put some ASMR triggers in here as well. So I brought a bag I have of some really beautiful tumbled polished stones that have been um, smoothed over and shaped or polished into really beautiful pieces. And on this bag, which is a really soft velvety bag, there is an ancient Celtic symbol on here, which I love. I'm really into symbols, ancient symbols, and um, I love to just kind of <laughs> feel the bag. It's so like, just, I don't know, fuzzy and velvety. But in this bag, I've got a lot of crystals and I want to share them with you. First one I have is a beautiful piece of rose quartz. And this rose quartz, in the sun, you can begin to see some rainbows so a lot of beautiful streaks in this piece. And it's a great palm stone or worry stone. So you can put it in the palm of your hand and it will really help just like calm and soothe you. Rose quartz is great for um, bringing out that loving, compassionate side that we all have within us and making us more um, understanding or compassionate or empathic towards what others are going through. It brings out um, that soft, gentle feminine energy that we all have within us. What I'm doing is I'm doing gentle tapping and I'm going to send the energy of this loving, gentle rose quartz your way. Okay, next I've got Oh, I love this one. This is a beautiful piece of Kumbaba Jasper. Some people also call it Crocodile Jasper because it's got green little imprints or green little spots around it. And this is great for getting in touch with the earth energies and really connecting to nature and bringing out a loving nurturing type side. So like, um, they say that Kambaba Jasper, or I've heard this said before, is really good for overcoming any old prior childhood wounds or just past trauma of any kind or emotional pain that we're trying to patch up and move on from. This really helps with that emotional healing process. And what's great is this piece is in a sphere and so it really helps send the energy out in a very like even formed way. Like I'll, it distributes the energy in a very smooth, evenly distributed way all around 360 degrees. The next piece looks like Amazonite or Amazonite. It's very beautiful. This is a beautiful turquoise looking piece and this is great for protecting us from electromagnetic radiation that's harmful or harmful EMFs from our cell phones and wireless technology. This really helps block and transmute some of that energy. And so it's got a protective na uh, nature to it, but also nurturing quality. It helps us, it kind of works on the heart and the throat chakras. It helps us um, speak our truth and speak from the heart. So it helps connect those two chakras so that they're working in harmony or synergistically.
Okay. Okay. Next piece that wants to come out. Ooh, I love this one. This one is a official big palm stone. You see you can fit in the palm of your hand. Oh, this is so soothing and calming. I haven't like looked at this piece in a while. So this is moss agate. And in the light, you can see a lot of beautiful, sparkly quartz pieces that are in here, infused in here, and a lot of like green streaks that actually look like moss. That's where it gets its name from, moss agate. This is wonderfully nurturing, comforting during troubled times, and helps us connect to Mother Earth and nature. This one is a beauty. So soothing during major times of change, too. Okay, next. Got a piece of, not really sure how to pronounce this, a uh, blue ahawi uh, or awau opal. It's a type of blue opal from Oregon. Some people just call it Oregon blue opal, but it's got like another word in it. I think it's O W H E E or something. It's, um, I believe, a Native American word but like blue Oregon opal is what it's also referred to as. Um, if you, this is in the shape of an egg too, so it's, it's wonderful for really, really connecting to the divine feminine aspects of the universe, but it's got multiple colors in it, which is really cool. It's distinct from many other opals in that way. It's got beautiful hues of blue, and then like a bronzish brown color, as well as like a dark deep blue or black. So this is great for the throat chakra and communication and also for soothing any aggression or anger one might have bottled up inside. So calming the emotions and calming the mind. Next. Oh yeah, piece of serpentine. This is beautiful. Serpentine is great for protecting oneself from anybody with ill intentions or ill intent. So it helps protect you from psychic attack, it helps protect you from people that are energy vampires and really helps keep you grounded and stable and in your own lane, basically. And it's comprised of some yellow calcite in the middle and some brown mud on the outside of it and some other aspects. And what's cool about serpentine is that there's always going to be seven little teeth looking things that just naturally form. I can't remember exactly which part of the world that it's from, but it's a distinct area. Um, if you want to know, just put it in the comment section down below and I can look it up for you and I can uh, look it up in my book and let you know. Okay, next I'm going to induce some more ASMR triggers with these little homemade bean bags I made when I was a kid. <laughs> I found these um, randomly, I was just coming across them when I was doing some cleaning, decluttering, and these are little homemade bean bags I made when I was like 
seven or eight in a home ec class and there's like little beans in here and it's sewed and I just thought they sounded kind of relaxing putting them together. I don't know if you can hear, but there's some waves in the background too that are gently crashing against the shore and they're so soothing. And I wanted to also share something really cool and unique that I found. They're like a healing type of herb thing I got from a shop in um, uh, about an hour from where I live. And they're called Goga or Goji seeds. Um, they're from Zambia. And they smell so good. <laughs> Some of you who are clairsentient might be able to smell these <laughs> through the camera. Um, they smell really fruit and fruity. <laughs> they smell really fruity and sweet. Mm. <laughs> and next I've got some meteorites. Um, I shared some meteorites in my earlier, one of my earlier videos. I believe it was the October energy um, transmission, but I wanted to share a couple others that I have. Um, a few others actually. The first one I have is piece of Tibetan tektite or a Tibetan tektite dumbbell. This is actually from Tibet and it has a lot of powerful energy in it. It's a great grounding tool similar to black tourmaline but it also helps you connect to extraterrestrial intelligence and higher vibrational energies and really can increase and raise your frequency. So it's a good grounding tool but it also expands you. It blows your consciousness open so you're just wide open for information helps open that channel. And I have another piece of Tektite that's very similar in color. It's a black one with little, ooh, <laughs> with little crevices in it, just like the Tibetan one. But this one's from China, so they are from different parts of the globe. Slightly different energies, but very similar too. into the camera, the energies of both of these together. And an 
another one that I have that's really cool and really distinct from any other meteorite that I've seen next to Moldavite is Libyan Desert Glass or a yellow colored tektite. This is actually from the Libyan Desert. I believe um, the ancient Egyptians used this um, for burial ceremonies and purposes. A lot of uh, the royal um, members or royal elite uh, members of them like King Tut were buried with this or they when they were alive wore them as jewelry or necklaces for empowerment, courage, a sense of royalty, um, feeling empowered and feeling um, just feeling abundant. It really helps attract abundance, courage, opportunity. It's great for the solar plexus chakra region or the central sun of our bodies. It's wonderful for increasing intuition, intuitive knowing, and giving us a sense of, um, of certainty. And so I love to carry this around when I need extra courage or an extra bit of uplifting and happiness. Sending you courage, love, happiness, a sense of empowerment, and reassurance that you are where you are supposed to be exactly in this moment in time, right here, right now. Even though it might not seem like it. Everything happens for a reason. So, the word tektite basically just implies, and these are all tektites right here, they basically imply that they are not of Earth's origin or they are not from Earth, that they are from some outside source. Um, people don't know specifically where from, but somewhere from outer space or from the exosphere. Um, could be from aliens, it could be from, um, you know, meteorite collisions. It could be anything. There are so many possibilities. And what's really cool is some of these are translucent in the light. I'm not really sure if you can tell at this angle, but it's really, really cool. This one's just so beautiful in the sun, so empowering. There we go. Maybe you can see it there. So I hope that you enjoyed learning about some more crystals and meteorites and hopefully you got a little bit of education with some relaxation aspects as well. And if you enjoyed this video or would like more like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, feel ahead to, go ahead uh, and do so. And if you would like to, I, I hope to see you again soon in my next video. And I hope you have a wonderful, lovely rest of the day wherever you are. Peace, love, and light to you in the highest vibration. Bye you all.